The crickets and the cicadas played their noisy concert in the human night as fireflies flitted about, blinking in colors of orange, red, and various shades of green. Mosquitoes, gnats, flies, and noceums buzzed about, looking for a quick vampiric snack. The bug coil, sitting at the corner of the steps, glowed and fumed as the thin white column of smoke rose into the still air, spreading slowly out onto whatever so slight breeze, like a ghost passing. In the distance, the bullfrogs' deep bass voices resonated from the muddy creek as catfish splashed in the shallows, searching for the unlucky to gobble up. The dim porch light lit, casting shadows in its yellowish glow. The screen door opened and out stepped the young man with a quart-sized can and jar of sweet iced tea in one hand and a fly swatter in the other. Moths and June bugs began to congregate immediately about the heating bulb, bumping haphazardly upon it. He paid no mind to the nightly choruses and happenings. Letting loose a long sigh, he sat down on the old wooden hanging swing, and it creaked and groaned mightily under his weight in protest. He took a swing from his drink, winced at how sweet it was. She always put too much sugar in it for his taste, By his second gulp, he already knew what to expect and just accepted it, enjoying the coolness that flowed in his throat. He was already perspiring heavily under the unrelenting heat that made him feel as though he was in the middle of a swamp. He noticed his dog was sprawled on his belly at the other end of the deck, trying to stay cool as well. The red-boned coon hound let out an occasional groan of irritation as some critter decided he was good enough to eat. The man's attention shifted the other way as the screen door swung open briskly and the thinly clad young woman marched out into the clammy night air. She fanned the top of her medraft t-shirt, trying to get some relief from the stifling heat as she exhaled sharply, wiping the sweat from her brow with the back of her hand. The young man's eyes locked onto her thinly veiled breast, her nipples subtly visible through the dampness of her shirt that clung to her light body. Her gaze now fell upon him, where he was staring. She let out a gasp, as if surprised, but the coy smile that graced her red lips informed him that she was of the same mind. Reaching over, she took the sweating jar from his hand taking a deep swallow. The stolen cube of ice caused the tea to spill from the corner of her mouth and she handed the glass back to him. She winked and turned back towards the door, pulling off her top with a giggle and hurrying inside. He smiled, listening to his heart race and watching her short shorts disappear back into the house as the screen door slammed closed. The scene erased all thoughts of the sweltering heat. Before he followed his bride inside, he stopped to listen to the sounds of life, locked in the summer's melody of love.